Police in several states are warning shoppers to stay alert for so-called distraction thefts. At least one group of alleged thieves has been arrested, with authorities saying their spree spanned multiple states. They were taken into custody in Wisconsin. But it comes at a time of good and bad news for similar crimes, with larceny rates actually dropping 9% since before the pandemic, although smaller shoplifting numbers have gone up 10% in the same amount of time. So let's bring in correspondent Caitlin Becker, who is live with more on these crimes, Caitlin. Well, Nicole, you have to picture this. You're out grocery shopping. Another person comes up to you and wants to know if you like the pretzels you're holding. Kind of an innocent question. And you answer because you're nice and bam. You turn back and your purse is gone. Now, what I'm describing here is what law enforcement refers to as a distraction theft, and crimes like these are on the rise. Police say these criminals often work in groups of two or three, and they use tactics like diverting the victim's attention while another person steals from their cart or their wallet or their bag. And these are not just local criminals. They're actually part of a larger, more organized network. Authorities recently made arrests in St. George, Utah, after thieves stole and quickly racked up thousands of dollars of charges on victims' credit cards. Law enforcement is working to combat this trend by tracking these groups across state lines and pursuing strict penalties. Now, distraction thefts are not a new tactic. Thieves in Southern California recently targeted elderly people wearing visible jewelry. In this instance, you're seeing it here. The criminals would just approach their victims, give them a hug, but they're actually using this as an opportunity to remove their jewelry. Now, there are, of course, ways to protect yourselves from these distraction thefts. Don't take hugs from randos. And if someone approaches you, beware of your surroundings, especially your purse or wallet. I have to tell you, though, I got pickpocketed earlier this year, and I live Aww. in the city, and I feel like I'm pretty good with that stuff. Yeah. But it just, it happens to the best of us. It really does. And it's so frustrating, Caitlin, to see that video, especially people taking advantage of the elderly. So frustrating. Mm -hmm. But you just can't be nice to anyone, Caitlin. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> Seriously. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.